I could say is I'm sorry. I really am. I'm really sorry. Oh, man. You know, this is an Avalanche logo on this cap. However, when I tuned in tonight, I, um, <laughs> I treated, I treated that Maple Leafs game like I was watching the Avalanche. I did. And the reason is simple. Um, the Leafs are a team I respect a lot. I really do. Um, they are a very fun team to watch. They've always, I've always had enjoyed watching, especially back about when I was a teenager and the Leafs were pretty much up there, pretty good. One of the um, high-level teams in the Eastern Conference at the time. And um, and when I got on social media, part of it, I um, followed, I actually followed people, a couple of people who have to be Leafs fans and they followed me back. And uh, I remember the 2013 season, that shortened season, and the Leafs made the playoffs. It's the first time in nine years. I remember seeing how, how happy those Leafs fans were. They were so happy. Now, we know how it ended, okay, but they were there. They made it there, and there was belief that, hey, we can make it back, good things could happen. And they get and they get Austin Matthews to draft. He's this beast, scores goals left and right. Put a blindfold on him, he'll score a hat trick. He's one of those players. And um, they keep making the playoffs. They keep making it. They keep making it, but they keep coming up short. It's ridiculous. And, um... Of course, a couple of those years, they got snake bit by Boston. That just, ugh, that sucks. And, um, of course, when the Blues, when the Blues won the Stanley Cup, when the Blues won the Stanley Cup, that meant the Maple Leafs had the longest cup drought in, 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 in NHL history. They haven't won since 67, the final year before expansion came in. And, um... And then, the, and then last year, we sort of qualified round. They didn't win against Columbus. But this year, this year appeared to be different. It's a shortened season, and the Maple Leafs kicked ass. They started off kicking ass. They had a bit of a goal, but they were still in first place. But they ended up winning that that all Canadian division. And of course, of course, the Canadian division was a subject to ridicule and 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 and, and be literally, oh, none of those teams are any good. Um, the first was the goaltending sus. Once the Leafs were dominated, it was like, eh, none of those teams are any good. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't beat any of the American teams. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy when you play teams like uh, uh, Vancouver and Ottawa. They're the worst teams in the league. No, that's Buffalo and New Jersey. Buffalo, New Jersey, make Vancouver and Ottawa look like Colorado and Vegas. Okay, <laughs> don't give me that nonsense. But um, but uh. The Leafs really, they kicked ass that season. And I I watched it, I watched that with, man, think Colorado and Toronto are going to hook up for the cup? <laughs> oh, man. And, um, uh, and, uh, of course, game one happens, and Tavares gets injured. You know, it had me really thinking of that Muzzin injury. And, um, as, as your name, Tree, said in this video about the Leafs, what did Bauer do, what did Bauer do to ruin this team? Uh, yeah, I still, I, yeah, I still blame Ballard for this. Ballard's been dead for 31 years, and he's still screwing this team, that team up. They are, he is. And um, but they lost game one, but they won games, they won games two, three, and four in pretty well done fashion. And I went, damn, they're gonna do it. They are going to do it. Uh, they hadn't won a series so far. I said this before, but but this, I thought this is gonna be it. Then they go to game five and. Well, they 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 filled out. They they went down three nothing. They came back and tied it, but they lost in overtime. Now, okay, okay, okay. So they lost game five. Big damn deal. They're still they'll still take care of it. Saturday they'll still take care of it. Saturday happens. No score after two periods, but then 
the, the but the, the Habs do something they hadn't done all year, all, all postseason. They score power play goals, two of them. But again, the Leafs come back and tie it, and they go to overtime. Go, ooh, and they were really shooting. I thought, oh, they're gonna, something's going to break through. No, what broke through was just Desperate Cockney shot, which was only the Habs' second of overtime. And then they go, oh boy, game seven. Oh boy. So, um, yeah, then game seven just happened, and I watched it, and I saw one goal go, and I go, no. And I saw two nothing. Honestly, when it was two nothing, I just went, oh boy. They've done it. They're not going to come back. I, I knew it too. Ugh. It really. Oh, man. It just really hurt. I, it, it hurt me to watch that. It really did. It really did. Because I thought that they would turn this corner. I was already picturing Toronto versus Winnipeg. I was. I, I had pictured them representing that division in the Final Four. And this happens. And this happens. And all I can say, all, all I can say is that I'm, I'm sorry, Leafs fans, I really am. It's really, this it's, 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 it's really breaks my heart. It really does. Um, because I wanted the Leafs fans to celebrate after a series. I wanted to see that reaction, especially on social media. I wanted to see Steve Dangles rea uh, do a video where he's happy as a clam, and uh, and he go Leafs win and um, uh, celebra and celebrates a series victory for the first time in 17 years. Instead, it's this, it's this, and and, 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 and what one thing I've noticed: the Leafs fan base. Has, has been very pessimistic. They've been very. This, this, it's a very pessimistic, pessimistic fan base, and it comes from stuff like this. It comes from not winning, having a team, having not won a series since 2004. It comes from the cup drought. It comes from '93, when it, it, they were up three games to two, and it looked like they were going to win it, but that bad call happens. They lose that game and they get shelled in Game Seven. It comes from a. It comes from many things. It comes, like I said, from that Boward era eons ago, where he just. Ugh, boy. I didn't. Uh, I have a confession. I didn't know much about what uh, Harold Ballard until I watched your name trees video about the Leafs. That man was a certified moon. He was. And um, he 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 really messed that team up badly, and he, 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 even even though he's been dead and buried for 31 years, the aura is still there, and it's just I've said this many I've said this in Twitter conversations. They are the most cursed team in in, in, in sports team in sports history. Forget forget the old. Cursed Red Sox, forget the old cursed Cubs, forget the Indians, the current drought, uh, any of the Cleveland teams. I don't think anybody has it worse. Anybody has it worse than the 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 Toronto Maple Leafs. I really don't think so. This is this this is just a completely jinxed team. Look what look at Toronto sports, okay? And in, in the fifty in the fifty four years that have passed. Since Toronto won the Cup, Toronto's had a baseball team, a basketball team, and a Major League Soccer team. Of course, the Argonauts have been around forever. Um, every single one of those teams has won something. Blue Jays have won two World Series, 92 and 93. Um, the, the, the Toronto, Toronto FC, they won an MLS Cup. The Toronto Raptors won an NBA championship one day after the Blues won the Cup. And of course, the CFL team, that's my, which I'm a fan of, the Argonauts, they're, they're, they're like the Yankees of CFL. But the Maple Leafs? 
Nada. Yeah, and I, and, I should, and I've talked to some Leafs fans, a couple Leafs fans about it. One's a bit, and and it, it, I see the pain, and it just breaks my heart. I've been talking a lot about the Leafs because it really did something to me just to see that heartbreak again. Of course, uh, it overshadows, it overshadows a second round game that uh, took place, the Islanders and the Bruins, and that series is even because uh, Case Zizekas breaks away at this beautiful goal in overtime and wins it. So it's a 1-1 series. And how about the Islanders? The Islanders are overtime masters so far. They've been in, they've been in three overtime games, one of them all. They were all on the road, too. Those uh, They were in overtime in Pittsburgh and won both times. And now they've won an overtime game in Boston. Uh, they're doing it again. I, I think it's Trotz. Uh, I don't, Barry Trot seems to have a knack for these sort of things. It all it, it all dates back to that year when he coached Washington to the Stanley Cup. Ever since then, he just seems he seems to know how to have a knack for doing things, especially against Sidney Crosby. Uh, Crosby, uh, Crosby can't beat Trot's coach teams, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So that series is even. That was the only second round game to take place to, uh, tonight, and of course, I have to talk about this. BS punishment they gave punishment I should say they gave Ryan Reeves this guy put this guy puts his knee on Ryan Graves neck nearly nearly breaks another neck in Philip group but he only gets two games suspension for it Kadri got four times more than that for less it was clearly intent to injure they actually removed that I read on Twitter they removed that I go oh my god oh boy anyway so we're we're heading into the month of dwell we are heading into the month of June now, and unfortunately, I did read this stat. About, I, read, I, I did realize this trivia note about the Maple Leafs. They have never played in the month of June. They would have done so had they won tonight. But even even now, with this modified schedule, they have never played in the month of June. Never. So, um, yeah, so the month of June is upon us. And what's in store for us on the first day of the sixth month? Uh, one game tomorrow. It's um, hurric uh, uh, lightning and hurricanes game two. Tampa took game one on uh, Sunday. That's the only game tomorrow. And as for as for uh, Wednesday's action, it's official. Game one, Canadiens Jets in Winnipeg. Uh, that's at seven thirty Eastern, four thirty Pacific. Uh, Wednesday, and after that, at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, Game 2, Golden Knights Avalanche. And we and we we took Game 1 of that series on, on Sunday. Uh, game 3 of the Bruins Outer Series, that's on Thursday, and the season shifts to Nassau Coliseum. So, with that, I say, um, Leafs fans, please stay positive. I think next year will be pretty good. I think there's, I think they're still gonna have that, 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 that oomph they had this this regular season. So stay positive, and uh, I'll be back to recap tomorrow's game two. So stay tuned.